Hello guys. So far in the chapter DC power supplies we have learned the block diagram of regulated DC power supply and a brief intro about each of the block introduction of rectifier and half wave rectifier. In today's lecture we will learn about full wave rectifier and one of its type center tape full wave rectifier. In case if you miss these lectures the links are available in the description so let's start with the topic full wave rectifier it is a type of rectifier which converts both half cycles of the ac signal into pulsating dc signal as we know that in half wave rectifier only one half cycle either positive or negative is converted into dc and that's why it was named as half wave rectifier but in the full wave rectifier both the input cycles of ac signals are converted into into pulsating dc signals the full wave rectifier is further classified into two types center tape full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier in today's lecture we will learn about center tape full wave rectifier so what is center tape what do you mean by center tape it is a type of transformer when an additional wire is connected across the exact middle of the secondary winding of the transformer it will become center tape transformer here is the diagram look at here exactly in the middle of the secondary winding a wire is connected and hence this transformer has become center tip transformer now back to the topic the center tip full wave rectifier is made up of an ac source center tip transformer two diodes and a load resistor to convert the complete ac signal to dc signal here we go one ac source ac input current transformer which one center tape transformer why because a uh, at the middle or at the center of the secondary winding a wire is connected which is always grounded two diodes d1 and d2 and a load resistor rl here t is for transformer d1 and d2 are the diodes rl is the load resistor and this plus means positive half cycle this minus means negative half cycle now let's see the working when input ac voltage or current is applied the secondary winding of the transformer divides this input voltage into two parts positive and negative what happens this center tape divides this input applied input voltage or applied input signal divides into two part two parts positive and negative so which one become positive which one become negative let's see during the positive half cycle the terminal a become positive and terminal b become negative and rl the center tape line is grounded now what happens when positive half cycle is applied during the positive half cycle the terminal a is positive and terminal b is negative the p end of the diode is connected to positive and the n end of the diode is connected to ground that is zero or we can say negative as compared to and or we can say as a lower potential as compared to terminal a hence the current is flow through diode d1 in this direction here is the this is the flow of current during the positive half cycle from terminal a to diode d to load resistor to the ground and hence a circuit completes and we will get the output 
across the RL. Here we go. Now what happened with D2? As we know that terminal B is negative, the P end of the diode is connected to negative and RL is grounded that is the RL is at higher potential as compared to B hence the diode D2 become reverse bias right and in reverse bias the diode does not allow to flow any current through it and hence there was no flow of current in, through the diode D2. So during the positive half cycles only the current flow through diode D1 because it becomes forward bias P is connected to positive and N is connected to lower potential or zero or we can say negative hence it become forward bias and it allows the flow of current so we will get the output during both the positive half cycle we will get the output now what happens when negative half cycle came during the negative half cycle now terminal A become negative and terminal B become positive here as well RL is grounded now when the terminal B become positive the positive end of the diode D2 is connected to positive and negative end or we can say N P is connected to positive N is connected to lower potential or negative is known as forward bias condition of the diode and hence current is able to flow or the diode is allowed to flow the current through it so here we go the current flows through diode D2 and we will able to get the output across RL here it is now as the P end of the diode D1 is connected to negative and N end of the diode is connected to higher potential as compared to A or negative so the diode D1 becomes reverse bias and there will be no flow of current during the negative half cycle and hence we will get the output when across the D2 only or we can say the current is able to flow only through D2 in the manner in this manner we will get a DC output or we can say a output waveform thus the diode D1 allows electric current during positive half cycle and diode D2 allows electric current during the negative half cycle of the input AC signal. Now if I draw a complete diagram as a result both half cycles of AC input signal are allowed so the output DC voltage is almost equal to the input AC voltage. Now if I draw a complete diagram so what happens during the positive half cycle the current flows through diode D1 and during the negative half cycle the current flows through diode D2 and we are taking output across RL here is the pulsating DC output. Now if I draw a waveform here is my in AC input current in sinusoidal form. Now the diode D1 allows the flow of current only during the positive half cycle. So whenever there was positive half cycles we will get output across diode D1 and diode D2 allows the flow of current only in negative half cycle. So we will get the output current across D2 when there was negative cycles and if we draw a total DC output current it will be like this a pulsating continuous DC or we can say a full wave DC. Now here as well we have formula for average DC voltage VDC is equal to 2 times Vp upon pi 2 upon pi, pi is equal to 0 0.5. 636 multiplied by Vp. The maximum efficiency of this center tape full wave rectifier is 81.2 which is just double of the half wave rectifier as we know that the maximum efficiency of half wave rectifier is 40.6. That's all about the today's lecture. In the next lecture we will learn about the bridge wave rectifier. Thank you.